very young man uh, who told us over the phone about his experience and all the things that happened to him, uh, he says, allegedly at the hands of Sean Diddy Combs and his friends uh, in the effort to try to sign um, a Oh, we got deal. it. We got it. We got it, Sam. Your call may be recorded for call quality assurance purposes. Thank you for calling the Sean P. Diddy Abuse Helpline. This call is being recorded and your responses will be recorded exactly as you state them and reviewed by our staff and legal counsel. The information you provide is very important should you have a case. You may be asked to verify your responses by affidavit, so your complete honesty is crucial. If you agree to provide accurate information to the best of your knowledge under penalty of perjury, please press 1. Otherwise, please disconnect the phone call now. Should I press 1? I'm not sworn into court. Thank you for calling the Sean P. Diddy Abuse Helpline. This call is being recorded and your responses will be recorded exactly as you state them and reviewed by our staff and legal counsel. The information you provide is very important should you have a case. You may be asked to verify your responses by affidavit, so your complete honesty is crucial. If you agree to provide accurate information to the best of your knowledge under penalty of perjury, please press 1. Should I call back? I don't know. I hung up. I hung up. Should I call back? Like, I'm going to keep it up being with you? I, I was just going to submit a report on behalf of my brother from Philly, Meek Mill. I was going to be like, hey, yo, this Meek Milly right here, you know what I mean? The realest nigga out of Philly. I'm in the trenches right now, rolling on the wrist. Did he fuck me in the pool? I'm sorry. Like, I got to be honest with it, you now, okay? He took me shopping afterwards. He made me call, he made me call him daddy. You get what I'm saying? I got to put in a report for my boy. I got to do it. Okay. Now, the only reason why I don't want to get in none of this shit, you know what I mean? I don't even want to civil somebody be like, yo, you're, you, 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 you defame none of that shit. You know what I mean? But I was going to put in a report. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, am I my brother's keeper? Pause. No. <laughs> but anyway. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just <laughs> be like, yo, the video is online. He told me I deserved it, daddy, after he penetrated. I'm like, damn, crazy. Damn, this shit is. Yo, a Diddy hotline is crazy, nigga. This is like calling Capital One or American Express. You ever call Geico? <laughs> Thank you for calling Geico. If you are in a safe location and you need roadside assistance, please press one. They should have had this thing a little bit more thugged out. Thank you for calling the PDD hotline. If he fucks you in the ass, press one. Fucks you in the pussy, press two. Fucks you in the pussy and ass, press three. Meek Mill? Your direct line, press four. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Uh, this was kind of what he was told he would have to do. His quote is, had he not been in power, I feel like I could have been something great. I quit, I quit the industry because of what Sean Combs did to me. And that's really what it comes down to. We are pursuing this, asking you to support this effort, to encourage witnesses and victims to come forward and bring your evidence so we can continue to break down this wall of silence and we can continue uh, to have these stories heard.